in my dating life, I can't tell you how many men I've encountered, um, especially like young men, and they'll straight up say, I've never seen anything like this in real life. And that's what you want to hear. You want to be the girl that he'll never forget. Hello, my dangerously alluring darlings. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an amazing day today. Today, this is the video that you were waiting for. We are going to talk about the Tavantees, the dangerously alluring modern femme fatale. Like she is so iconic. She's the representation of the old Hollywood, but in our modern era. And you know how much I'm obsessed with old Hollywood. And I talked a little bit about the Tavantees in different type of my videos. And she has such an aura and such an allure, such an elegance that we want to emulate. I think we all love her on this channel. I use her a lot as example. She's the queen of glamour. So we have to talk about her on this channel because this channel is very glamorous. So if you want to know what makes the Tavantees so alluring and seductive, keep on watching. First just wanted to let you know that if you want to see more of my content I talk about fashion, femininity, old Hollywood glamour, seduction, dating and anything to make you become a highly feminine lady and to upgrade your confidence. Feel free to join the channel the link is down below and also follow me on my Instagram. And also ladies if you want to join my course my femme fatale siren course that I just recently released you will have so much content on how to become your own femme fatale your own siren how to master the art of being a siren the allure the charm the elegance how to dress well how to have boundaries how to regain your power with men how to understand how attraction work how to become the prize how to truly become a prize, become high value so that men love you and respect you and spoil you. So if you are ready to become a femme fatale, join my course. The link is down below. Join my course in my website. My website is elizaglamour.com. This is just a very powerful course, I'm telling you. Just warning you. Dita Tavantes, ladies. She is the queen of seduction and sensuality, I have to say. like. We are all, as women especially, like she has a big audience that are women because we love her. We love her sensuality because her showing sensuality is just like Monica Bellucci. She does it in an elegant way. It is very tasteful. She's a burlesque dancer, a model, an actress, and also known for her retro glamorous style. She is the one that made the burlesque back into trend because burlesque was really a thing back in the days in the 40s, 50s and it's in form of an art. Dita Von Tees is the world's most famous burlesque superstar. Among other things, she's branched out into designing vintage-inspired lingerie. Especially in France, a lot of people love her. I think French people love sensuality, but in a sophisticated way. And that's why French women, especially, they love the femme fatale archetype. They love the Tavantes. You know, it's like a certain je ne sais quoi. So she was born in September 28th in 1972. Her birth name is Heather Renee Sweet. She is well known for her vintage style. And I saw videos of her hunting for vintage pieces in vintage stores in LA and it was fascinating how she was so really particular and really respectful of the time and the era and she has a lot of knowledge on fashion and on the history of fashion which era which pieces are from and also in her terms of her look she's very particularly known for her red lipstick that's why I'm wearing red lipstick right now and for her eyeliner her wing liner and her really pale skin and her really dark hair. She is very, very careful about her skincare. That's why she looks absolutely fantastic at her age. I mean, she's 51. She doesn't look that at all. She has an incredible body, an incredible body, an incredible skin. She looks stunning. And I mean, I want to look like that when I'm 51, you know, and she's also a very good friend with Christian Louboutin. She was also married with Marilyn Munson. She was a muse of Christian Louboutin and she walked runways. She's also a pinup model and she has also her own lingerie line and I love her lingerie line. If you really are a big fan of lingerie and you're really picky about lingerie and you want excellent quality, the cut also enhance your figure really nicely because um, I love the sculptural shape that they make. So I have a whole line in my uh, lingerie collection called Her Excellency. 
So let's talk about maybe a little bit of her relationship with Marilyn Munson. That he was a long-time fan and member of her website before. And when they met, he asked her to be in his music video. And on Marilyn Munson's 32nd birthday, she arrived in a bottle of absinthe, I think, and they became a couple. As a burlesque dancer, burlesque is like dancing and undressing yourself, and but in a very artistic way with feathers and it's a vintage style it's super feminine but in a way it is still quite risque you know and so she is a little bit controversial especially I think in America and she always talk about the fact that she wants to take away that cliche of a woman being sensual that doesn't mean that she is stupid that she doesn't mean that she doesn't have value or anything she really wants to show that a woman can be sexy can be sensual and can embrace her sensuality without feeling ashamed of it. So she was born in Michigan in USA and it's really a universe completely far away from where she is now. From Hollywood, from Paris, from the glitz and the glam. And with her mother on the weekends she used to go and watch old movies and that's when she fell in love with old movies and this particular style and, and Betty Grable and Mae West and Carmen Miranda and Marlene Dietrich. They were muses for her. They were her inspiration. And she took that from her the mother because her mother had a fascination with old Hollywood cinema. And she wanted to recreate herself. In a way, she had almost like a persona, like what I'm talking about in other videos. She created herself her own image and her own persona and she talks a lot about that, that it made her gain a lot of confidence because she used to see those incredible women on, on movies and those femme fatale and those like incredible actresses having so much confidence in the fact that she changed her style, she changed her hair, she changed the way she carried herself and it made her feel so much better. And she did a whole transformation, creating herself her new identity, her new persona. She even changed her name. She wanted to be the femme fatales that she saw in the movies. She was classically trained actually as a ballet dancer at an early age and this is why you can see she has an excellent posture incredible posture she always carries herself with such grace and elegance and i told you already ballet when you do ballet it gives you such core strength and it gives you the basic audrey hepburn did ballet and you see all the people that did ballet in the past they always have this posture and i did ballet in the past and i think it really helped me also maintain a great posture always having your shoulder back always having your head up and always carries yourself in such a graceful way and also it helped her because she did later incorporate that ballet training into her burlesque shows as she does frequently goes into a pointe so like when she point her feet like that which is absolutely the hardest thing to do and she did say that in an interview that when she did ballet what interests her in the ballet was the glamour of it it was not the dance her teacher told her like why do you want to do ballet she said i love the costumes and the beautiful decor and the beauty of it and and not one time did she mention the dance she was more into the glamour the, the fact that she can create glamour the fact that it's just so artistic and beautiful and theatrical, the theatric of it. She then fueled a passion for lingerie because her mother bought her a bra and she was disappointed. She was like, what is this? I want the fancy, beautiful lingerie. So she became obsessed with lingerie and she worked at a lingerie store and became obsessed with corset and lace and all the beautiful craftsmen of lingerie. I'm using a lot of these kind of hooks on my garter belts because they really stay fastened and they really work in real everyday life the same way they used to do in the 50s. And I did also in the past uh, an internship in a lingerie store so I can understand that especially when it's high-end and really quality and the amazing craftsmen and just like it's so beautifully made, it's so beautiful. And you have so many different type of lingerie, different style, different pieces. Lingerie that is more romantic, some that is more sexy, some, you have really different style for different type of women. She also studied historic costuming in college, which makes sense on her having so much knowledge 
on vintage pieces and vintage fashion and she wanted to be photographed like the pinup from the 40s and 50s she was really obsessed with that which i can understand because i love the pinups they're so beautiful and she wanted to be different she wanted to be different from other people i can completely i don't know why i identify with her in that way because i love the glamour i love the glamour and i love to be different and she wanted to be different from other people. Glamour did that for her, morphing herself into whatever she wanted to be. She was doing the art of creation, something that nobody else was doing, but she never wanted to be typically famous. She was just wanting to do that for herself and just wanting to feel good and to have the art of creation. And she believes that you can create your own glamour which is absolutely amazing. I love that because I truly believe that as well. I think that any woman can create her own glamour and I think that any woman can create her own aura, her own classy woman, femme fatale. You can create your own image. It's the art of creation. You can create your own identity. It's just so fun. It's a fun way to express yourself. She was a girl that was very shy when she was younger. And by dressing like that, by dressing like a femme fatale and just having this style and embracing that, it made her become a lot more confident. And in a way, she wanted to stand out. She didn't want it to be like everybody else. So I looked to the 1940s and 50s and that kind of, of glamour, which I realized I could create. You know, that Hollywood makeover is very created and decisive. And I wanted to learn to give myself that 40s Hollywood makeover. Myself. She wanted to be in her own word, in her own little bubble, like, I think I am in my own world. I am in my own little bubble of old Hollywood, femme fatales, princesses. I, I'm creating my own universe, you know, in my life. This is super fun and I'm sharing it with you. And in that way, you can also do the same and feel confident and feel beautiful. She is the expert of seduction and she creates her own world. It is about defining who you are. The way she speaks also is just incredible it's very articulate she has an amazing voice very calm poised and gracious never speaking too quickly or too loudly she's always very elegant when she speaks so she's saying that she has her signature look and she is sticking with it because her look is a hundred percent her she said this look is a hundred percent me and i'm sticking with it it's a very 1950s look and she said it's 100 percent created by me so that means that she does her own makeup her hair also are very much inspired by the 1950s she has some rollers in her hair i would say her hair may be more 1940s because they're a little bit longer in the 50s they were shorter the femme fatale waves that had rita hayworth veronica lake which i absolutely love the femme fatale mystique of just having your hair on the side and just covering one of your eyes to make you look very mysterious i just love that look like you don't need a full glam every day obviously but just having a little something that make you feel good and make you feel put together make you feel feminine every single day is going to make you have a better day overall. She says that she likes to enjoy getting ready in a leisurely way and she likes to enjoy the experience. That's the same for me. When I get ready, it takes me time sometimes, but because I just enjoy it, I put on some music or I put on a little YouTube video next to me and I just enjoy the process and I'm having fun and I'm watching myself, like just getting ready, putting on makeup, putting on creams or skincare or taking care of my hair. It's just a whole super beautiful experience. I recommend to have a vanity so like that you're sitting and you feel good and you feel princessy. She can have a quiet time. She loves cultivating her feminine energy and she loves to have a theatrical life. Like she loves her life to be bright and beautiful and full of excitement and full of beautiful things around her. With her aura and expensive presence, men tell her they have never seen something like this before. And she said that is what you want to hear. She said you want to be the girl that he never forget. And her performance on stage, she described it as a fantasy. She is like a whole fantasy. She said she's having fun. And this is the most important thing. I always tell you that. The feminine energy is having fun. Like that's why I'm having fun with dressing up. That's why I'm having fun with embracing different persona. That's just fun, right? And so she's having fun being a femme fatale, being a burlesque dancer, just 
feeling good, feeling her feminine self. And in terms of seduction, she gave advice and she said, everything has to look natural. A maestra of seduction, like someone who truly knows her craft, it knows that everything has to look like you didn't try, like you just are. Like you didn't even try, you just are. Just like with lingerie, she said, it's important to wear lingerie, not just for men, but for you as well to feel good so like that it's natural for you to feel good to feel sexy feeling sexy is is feeling naturally good in your own body you didn't put it on for him you're not like stumbling out of the you know out of your bedroom like oh i put this on for you and posing you know you're wearing you're already wearing it and it's like he's lucky he's there and he gets to experience it so if you are aware of it if you feel good if you dance in front of your mirror you wear lingerie for yourself you're going to train yourself to appreciate who you are and it's going to become natural for you to be sensual your confidence shines in that way and he feels lucky to be in your presence that's right ladies feel good and just wear something for you seduce yourself she also maintains mystery we don't know everything about her right we don't know everything about her private life she's quite mysterious and that helps with the whole persona with the aura that she exudes she keeps her relationship private she also talked about the way you exit a relationship and the fact that you have to keep your dignity at all times keep your dignity at all times no matter how heartbroken you are and i have been very heartbroken before i have always maintained decorum and dignity your dignity is so important because this is your own self-image and this is your own love for yourself like you respect yourself so much that you keep your dignity at the end of a relationship with a man when you leave a relationship your image your own self-image is very important for yourself calm cool and collected no calls no texting like 50 times at 3 a.m. in the morning saying you miss him. And she said no texting and no calls for 30 days at least. So like that, you're giving yourself a break away from the relationship. And, and in that way, it controls you from just having to reach out and, and sending those long paragraphs in case he left you or you left him and you send him those long paragraphs like, don't do this ladies on top of it if a man wants you back he should be the one going after you not the other way around being in love is like being on drugs so she suggests to just distract yourself and for example pick a new hobby make yourself better on anything and take your mind out of it a lot of women what they do after a breakup is they go to the gym and they build themselves an amazing body and they just like go for it and they're eating super healthy or you go and you have a new hobby or maybe you travel traveling is a good thing to take a man out of it taking a dancing lesson and learning dance and focusing on that it's really gonna distract you from feeling heartbroken she's always saying that she is okay with being controversial as i said she's always talking about having a sense of adventure and a sense of humor is very sexy and i agree with that free and happy men love that type of spontaneous um, funny energy in a woman because that's that's very feminine the feminine energy is so spontaneous and juicy if you ask a man when you were sexiest it was probably a time when you were completely free and happy and having a good time and laughing you can be playful your playfulness and she also said something really interesting that i always say that to you but she said when you're young you think that's only when your body looks good that you feel sexy and she said that actually when you grow old you know that there's so much more to that and you start to really embrace your sensuality and i think that's the case i see a lot of older women they become more and more confident in themselves and that's when they also increase their sensuality because the more confident you are the more sensual you will be she said also that she doesn't believe in diets which i don't believe as well like we have so many things in common i would love to meet her honestly but she doesn't believe in diet but more of a certain discipline to have and i agree with that it's about having a beautiful discipline i did a whole video about how to have powerful discipline i will link it below and it's about how you feel when you eat she likes to meditate she likes to do guided meditation which i also recommend it really helps you feeling more feminine exercise therapists to deal with your emotions she was also talking in an interview about people 
criticizing her and, and she said that there's always going to be someone that's going to criticize you and not like you this this is always going to be the case there are always going to be some people that are going to believe that what you're doing is amazing and some people that are going to believe that what you're doing is not so it's fine just focus on the people that encourage you and people that are positive about you it is actually the things that set you apart that make you desirable it's the thing that is unique about you that makes you extremely desirable so in terms of her style Dita Vantis wears a lot of dresses a lot of vintage dresses really fitted to her body very femme fatale, glamour, that accentuate her curves. She chose dresses in bold colors, bold print. I saw a picture of her also with like a black dress, like corset. She loves corset, that's why I'm wearing this fabulous dress right now. She loves to wear polka dots and florals. One of her signature look is a black bodycon dress with a sweetheart neckline. Dita Vontis is also really known for her lingerie. She wears elaborated corset, garter belt and stockings in her burlesque performances. She wears high-end accessories such as Christian Louboutin shoes and vintage inspired hat and also statement jewelry. She often wear her outfits with long gloves. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Gloves. I think gloves are so beautiful and they add to your outfit and they add to the allure and the femme fatale aura and just they add a little bit of je ne sais quoi to an outfit. It's just very retro and beautiful. In her casual days, she wears ballet flat, trousers, skirts, cardigan, a ponytail. Overall, Dita Vantis is bold, glamorous and feminine. She's also a maximalist and she lives in a fantasy world. That's why I just love her because she doesn't hesitate she's not afraid of expressing herself with her creativity she's very creative and you can see it also with the way she decor her house i've seen the clip of her showing her house and it's just very bold very colorful a lot of prints everywhere maximalist feeling this is my living room i am a maximalist not a minimalist and this room is evidence of it. I have a lot of stuff. You see more of the vintage taxidermy. And I love that because nowadays everybody is kind of the same, dressing the same, looking the same sometimes, and having the same house, like all white and beige. And I just love the fact that she's unique like that. She's very much affected by what she wears and I feel the same. I am affected by what I wear and my energy is going to translate depending on what i wear it's very true i told you when i wear a more sexy figure hugging femme fata outfit i feel a little bit more sensual and when i'm in my princess dresses and princess gowns i feel a little bit more childlike energy and playful so it really affects your mood and how you feel inside she said apparently that men approach her more when she's dressed down which i I can see. I can see it's true. Men can feel intimidated with a lot of bold makeup and outfit and this goddess-like persona. You know, she looks like a movie star. It's, it can be intimidated. It needs like a very strong man and very confident men to be able to approach her, I think. I think it's the same for me sometimes. I just very extravagant with my style. So sometimes it can have some downside to be very glamorous that people make an idea of you in the head, which is not necessarily the truth. As I talk a lot about the stereotype that you can have when you're very feminine, when you're overly glamorous and feminine like that, and you're really womanly, um, you can have some people thinking that maybe you're superficial, maybe you're this and that, but you have a lot of upsides, trust me. I think at the end of the day what counts is really who you are inside and what you showcase in your personality. I think overall Dita Von C's sensuality is a celebration of femininity. Thank you so much for watching my beautiful darlings. I hope you liked it and I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know in the comments what you think of Dita Von T's, if you love her as much as I do and uh, let me know which icons you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and also follow me on my Instagram and until next time I'm giving you so much wonderful glamorous kisses darlings woman made you love me and so how am I ever perhaps perhaps perhaps